Uh, next, Ryan. Yes, Ryan, done it is? Yes, sir. 6 root 6. 6 root, yes. So, Farhan and you got the same answer. So, thank you and congratulations. Thanks, sir. Okay, Shahriya Riyad. Uh, the answer is 6 root 6. Please observe CQ number 6 and especially the STEM and the given questions. So you have 30 second time to review the question first and as always I say please review the question first two times so that you can understand the inner meaning. Okay. The first questions here find the value of P plus Q okay uh, uh sorry i think there will be minus while i was typing this one because the value of p plus q already here given it is six so there will be make a minus sign here p minus q okay that's a um, mistake so how we can get the value of p minus q so you will write p plus q equals to six or p plus q whole square equals to 6 square okay side note is squaring both sides or p plus q whole square can be written as p minus q whole square plus 4 p q okay the uh, formula we got earlier equals to 36 or P minus Q whole square equals to 4 into the value of PQ already given here that is 3 or P plus sorry P minus Q whole square equals to 36 minus 12 the result will be what 24 so P minus Q will be root over 24 that is the answer so we got that is the 20 root over 24 also you can make it short and if you use your calculator then you will see there are only 4 into 6 that means 2 root 6 okay so we got the result is here 2 root 6 now number b determine the value of p cube minus q cube minus 5 p square minus q square okay so this time you have you have to try this one number b so let me see how many of you can solve this one number b please try this yourself i think all of you can solve this one i am giving you a few minutes Okay, I'm giving you for this one four minutes time. <clears throat> okay, so I see all of you are starting the solving the problems. Mohyuddin Mullik is starting writing, uh, Roshan already writing very fast. Let's see whether he is going to be fast to say me the answer or not. So thank you Saima, you are also starting. Also I see Shahariya Riyadh is writing. Omar Murtaza. Okay, Arju. Okay, Farhan. Farhan. Sir, S is 6 root 6. Uh, next Ryan yes Ryan done it is yes sir 6 root 6 6 root yes so Farhan and you got the same answer so thank you and congratulations thanks sir okay Shahriya Riyadh uh, the answer is 6 root 6 okay so many of you have already solved this problem okay thank you very much okay uh, number B's answer will be 6 root 6 next number c okay those who uh, also got the same answer so thank you all of you and those who still didn't solve it so i will complete 
keep blank space you will complete later okay i know you can solve it yeah i have that confidence to all of you so let's solve uh, now we will solve number c p plus q equals to 6 then make it a square so if i make it a square on the both side then i will get the value of a square plus q square equals to it will be 36 minus there will be 2 pq that is 2 into pq value is 3 that is 30 so value of p square plus q square is 30 equation number one now we need the value of pq and plus q cube okay so again we can write again p plus q equals to 6 now make it cube so p plus q whole cube equals to 6 cube or p cube plus q cube plus 3 p q into p plus q equals to 6 cube and uh, that is i think 216 <coughs> or p q plus q q plus 3 into p q is 3 and p plus q is 6 2 1 6 or p q plus q q because 2 2 1 6 minus 3 into 3 9 9 into 6 54 that is p q plus q q is if i subtract then what will be the result it will be 2 and 6 162 okay so now i got the value of q part and square part okay make it equation number two okay now multiple equation one and equation number two so i'm erasing the left hand side So equation 1 into equation number 2 multiple so it will be p cube plus q cube into p square plus q square we got p cube q cube is 162 into square value we got earlier 30 okay or if i multiple these two then the result will be to the power 5 plus p cube q square plus p square q cube plus q to the power 5 on the left side okay and on the right side uh, let me calculate this part what will be the multiplication 162 into 30 4860 4860 that implies p to the power 5 plus q to the power 5 okay bring these two together now we have this remaining two from this remaining two what we can take common <coughs> we can take p square q square p square q square common then here remains p and here remains q equals to 4860 or p to the power 5 plus q to the power 5 plus we know the value of pq the value of pq is given 3 and square and the value of pq is given 6 equals to 4860 or p to the power 5 plus q to the power 5 equals to 4860 minus and it will be 3 square 9 into 6 54 so you have to subtract 54 so what will be the result let me subtract minus 54 the result is 4806 and that is the right hand side